fructolysis and glycolysis and the metabolic relationship to cancer. These have independent pathways for breaking down sugars. Lysis means breakdown of an element or compound. This is important to understand because of the different metabolism. The metabolism of fructose and glucose share many of the same intermediate structures, they have very different metabolic paths. We are still learning about carbohydrates, fat and nutrition. Fructose is metabolized almost completely in the liver in humans, and is directed toward replenishment of liver glycogen and triglyceride synthesis, while much of dietary glucose passes through the liver where it is metabolized in skeletal muscle to CO2, H2O and ATP, and to fat cells where it is metabolized primarily to glycerol phosphate for triglyceride synthesis as well as energy production. Limited amounts of glucose are used up with exercise, it is stored as fat if the energy use is less than glucose amount needed for activity. Timing of exercise is important, however glucose that is stored as glycogen can be stored up for energy and exercise. However, if too much sugar or fructose is consumed, then it can go to fat. Fructose is frequently derived from sugar cane, sugar beets, and corn. Crystalline fructose is the monosaccharide, dried, ground, and of high purity. High fructose corn syrup is a mixture of glucose and fructose as monosaccharides. Excess fructose consumption has been hypothesized to be a cause of insulin resistance, obesity, elevated LDL cholesterol and triglycerides leading to metabolic syndrome. Compared with sucrose, fructose has been recommended for diabetics because it does not trigger the production of insulin by pancreatic cells. The net effect for both diabetics and non-diabetics is debated. Fructose has a very low glycemic index of 19 to, compared with 100 for glucose and 68 5 for sucrose. Fructose is also 73% sweeter than sucrose so diabetics can use less of it. Studies show that fructose consumed before a meal may even lessen the glycemic response of the meal, but others are concerned about the use of fructose. What is most important is the total calories, what are the sources of those calories, and a commensurate level of exercise. Some studies that have compared high fructose corn syrup to sucrose, sucrose is known as table sugar. Studies find in both of these sugars, most measured short-term effects are equivalent for blood glucose, insulin, leptin, and ghrelin levels. Sucrose is a disaccharide that digests to 50% fructose and 50% glucose, whereas the high fructose corn syrup most commonly used in soft drinks is 55% fructose and 41% glucose. The difference between the two lies in the fact that HFCS contains little sucrose, the fructose and glucose being independent moieties. Studies that compare the long-term effects between sucrose and fructose are needed.